guys, you know, one of the greatest strengths of cash producing multifamily real estate is the ability to use leverage to buy that property. The U.S. is one of the few places in the entire world where you can put down a percentage of the total amount of that multifamily deal, finance the rest at a really good rate and a really good term, and still make a nice, healthy return month over month after you pay the note. However, the one mistake that people make getting into their first deal is over leveraging. A highly leveraged loan comes at the expense of higher monthly payment and probably at a higher rate. If you use too high a leverage, it'll be difficult to cash with the deal and there won't be enough margin for you to make the returns for you and for your investors. And when this happens, there are a couple of ways that your deal can go sideways and then come back and bite you. So the first way it can come back and bite you is uh, you hit a higher than expected vacancy. If you have a multifamily property and your vacancy increases, your loan's debt coverage ratio, your DCR, will drop. This is true for all multifamilies, but if you're over leveraged, it can make it impossible for you to make those higher payments and then, of course, make your obligations to the bank. This is especially true for smaller multifamilies where the vacant unit has way more impact on the overall income of that property. And the second way it can bite you, you're too optimistic on your underwriting. This is particularly important for new real estate entrepreneurs. If for any reason your underwriting is not thoroughly done, having more equity in the deal can save you from a loan default because your payment will be smaller and you can still cash flow. Your first deal may not go smoothly and you will probably make a few mistakes, all right? Especially if you're doing this alone. It, 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 but, you know, it may be due not to getting your rents to your specified amount in your pro forma, or you may get a bump in vacancies, you know, and that's all okay. You know, getting that experience is meaningful in your first deal. Just don't get too overly optimistic with an over leveraged loan. A good success is always better than a loan default and losing money for your investors is just a no non-starter. You can't do that. You should not do that. You'll never get another deal again. So you may be wondering, how do you find the right leverage for your deal? Well, first, be conservative with your underwriting. If you're looking for the worst case scenario, uh, you know, usually a good model, you need to stress test the deal to know how low the vacancy can go before you start losing money. You want to try to kill that deal and understand what it'll take for that to happen. You know, run the deal at lower rates, run the deal at lower cap rates or a higher interest rate. As you go through the thought process, You'll keep an eye out for the worst case scenario after you close, right? And then secondly, you know, structure the deal towards the worst case scenario so no investor or lender will think that your inexperience is sending you down the wrong path. You know, if you analyze a deal and your model says you're going to have a 19% cash on cash return, and it might be true, don't ever tell your investor that. Scale it back to something a little more realistic, 9 or 10%. You know, if you hit your targets, you deliver a better return. It's better surprise for the investors and they won't be disappointed. You know, getting your first deal nailed down will take some time. But if you study and train, you're going to make it. You know, go to the meetups, talk to mentors, listen to podcasts, you know, learn from the mistakes of others. And when you're ready, get in the game. Whatever you do, don't over leverage to get into your deal. Anyway, please let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. And if you've learned anything from this video, give it a thumbs up. And check out our podcast, Bulletproof Cashflow, and the podcast app of your choice. You know, subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. We're putting up these videos all the time to help you really build success in the world of multifamily. Anyway, be great, guys. Talk to you soon.